Thank you. Hello, everyone. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to everyone here for giving me this opportunity to speak about my people in Gaza. My name is Salah Attanani, Palestinian from Gaza, and I have been living in Ireland for almost two years. Recently, I reunited with my wife and our children, Celine, who is a four and a half, and Muhammad, who is one and a half. My family, they spent 200 days of a genocide in Gaza, facing bombing, destruction, hunger, and fear. During that time, I lost the hope for ever seeing them again. My wife, a regular message due to the disruption, internet, and electricity, told of their daily struggle and their uncertainty of their survival. I clearly remember her telling me she couldn't find any food for our children, a situation that made me wish for a bigger heart or a longer life to appear the bin. My daughter Celine asked me when I would bring her here safely to Ireland, while I always thought about my son Muhammad, who was born after I left Gaza, and whom I had never met him before. Unlike other war-torn regions where aid accessible, Gaza faces severe restriction on food, medicine, and fuel. Despite this, people of Gaza remain resilient, carrying hope of their heart, and teaching us a lesson in patience and strength. My wife's decision to move to the south of Gaza after 190 days in the north exemplifies this resilience. She journeyed, off, she journeyed for over three hours with Muhammad tied to her chest and Celine by her side, passing the tanks, shilling, plants, rubble, and the body and dead body of the people in the street. The Israel army stopped her midway and interrogated her, but she managed to reach the south, to the south. Eventually, I got their names to the exit. I, I eventually I got their names on the exit list to the Rafah crossing to Egypt and then to Ireland. Tragically, a day after their arrival, my wife learned that her sister and cousin had been killed and some family member injured in a room where they had been sleeping together with the children before coming here to Ireland. This is just one of the countless stories from Gaza. The safe arrival of my family was only possible thanks to the incredible effort of many people. I am deeply grateful. I am deeply grateful to everyone who helped, especially the Irish people for their kindness and continuous support. As we stand here, I want to take this opportunity to address the ongoing genocide in Gaza. Over the last nine months, the genocide has claimed more than 40,000 lives and injured over 90,000, over half of whom are children and women. This wouldn't have been possible without clear support from America and some Western countries that provide Israel with endless funds and weapons. Meanwhile, the word silence is deafening as aid, water, medicine, and food are kept from Gaza. However, Gaza is still dying. Gaza is still, Gaza is still starving. Gaza is still bleeding. Gaza is still thirsty. Gaza is still surviving. We are here to say enough is enough to the loss of innocent life, the displacement of thousands, and destruction of homes. We demand a ceasefire now and urge decision maker to reconsider the policies toward to a free Palestine. Cease fire now! Cease fire now! To all who detest injustice, charge life, and despise deceit, to the free people of Ireland standing against this genocide, 
Your support give us a hope amid this darkness. Your solidarity show that justice and humanity transcend boundaries. Your voice reaching across distance make a huge difference in our life. Finally, thank you all for compassion. Please know the people in Gaza hear your voices and send this message. Keep going. Free Palestine.